what's going on guys lockout man back thank you very much for listening and we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it we're heading over to tiktok where a popular female tiktoker she was a flatbedder she goes by the name of the traveling mermaid unfortunately god has called her home some time ago and a few people that was in her circle around tiktok knew of her passing it really wasn't made public until her sister or her family members uh, just made it public i just saw a news uh, article featuring this young lady a very popular uh, tiktoker and she had some struggles and she talks about them. She talks about her, her struggles and she talks about how people in trucking that has these type of struggles don't have an outlet. And she's here to talk about it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. You know, I don't think it gets talked about enough about the type of person it actually takes to be an over the road truck driver. To be able to sit with your own thoughts for hours, days, you know, weeks on end. You know, the road, it can provide a type of solace or it can be your worst enemy. You know, and today is just one of those days that I'm trying so hard, but I'm struggling. <laughs> a lot of people don't talk about depression, loneliness. When you're in that truck 11 hours a day, well, you're not even in the, it's not even 11 hours a day. It's damn near 24 hours a day that you're with the truck. You get up, you drive, you stop, you get out for a few minutes, you get right back in the truck, you go to sleep, and then you get up and do it all over again. And that is life for some people out here. That is, that is life. People that have been driving for 20, 30, 40 years, and I'm not talking about the millennial years. I'm talking about I'm talking about the our era years. We talking about from from the 60s to the 70s to the 80s to the 90s. Back then where trucking was more of a brotherhood where people could get on the CB and and just chop it up just to get down the way. We're not talking about the millennial drivers that we're talking about drivers from back in the day where they didn't even have access to the internet, the cell phone live feeds they ain't have none of that none they had cb radios and and luckily if they can find a place to have a public phone a private phone booth just imagine back in the day all those all those uh private phone booths are being used by over the road truckers to talk to their families for hours on end imagine that could you imagine that today? Sit there and, and just talk to your family in this time. Y'all can't see it in this time. It's back in the day. They they went through the mud. They didn't have none of what we got today. So imagine mental aspect back then versus mental aspect now. And this is what this young lady was pretty much touching on. Shout out to the family of the traveling mermaid. Uh, they, again, finally put the information out there there's still not that much details of her passing but i really don't think we of uh, the public really need to know we just need to honor the family pay them their respects and send our condolences to the family of the traveling mermaid little miss your time on the road is over. You rest well, and we got it from here.